YouTube world. It's Ryan from Riding in Style. And for today's uh, quick install mod video, we got these pedal covers for the gas and the brake pedal uh, by Mopar. So I'm going to do a quick install on these. And for anyone thinking of ordering these, uh, we'll see how the ease of installation is. But the problem with the instructions is this is what you get. And so it's kind of like getting instructions from a mime on the street. As you can see, there are no words. And so if you're looking at installing these, um, I will kind of break down what this is trying to say. So basically it has the brake pedal, the gas pedal. This is supposed to represent soapy water and then a flathead screwdriver. And what this is saying is you need to remove the rubber that is on your stock brake pedal and throw it away. And then you need to add soapy water and then install the cover over it somehow. But the gas pedal looks like it just goes right over the stock rubber piece. So I'm going to do a quick install video and I invite you to join the journey with me. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so I have my pedals, I have my soapy water, I have a paper towel, and I have my screwdriver with two different size flathead. I did go to a dealership this morning to see if they had better instructions and so in an effort to hook me up what they did was they gave me larger instructions. So it's the exact same thing, there's no words, but the pictures are larger so you can see it better. Page one and page two. So thanks to the dealership um, for hooking me up. I just wanted to show you folks my uh, driver's side door and I got the red and black matching microfiber cloths. I know. I don't know why. I'm just OCD like that. Okay, it's very dark under here, so lighting's a little limited, but what I'm going to do first is install the gas pedal. So if you look in the back, I'm not sure if you're going to get to see this, but you're going to install one end, and then on the other end, there's actually these clips. So here's what I mean. We just go like this. Put it in at an angle, and then it lays right over the gas pedal. Okay, there we go. I haven't done a pre-run, so I'm actually doing this as we go. And it's in. So it snaps on, gas pedal, done. This is the beast. And so with the brake pedal, if you look in the back, these are rubber lips that will need to be pried open to go over Oh, those import cars. Uh, there's a lip back here that will need to be pried open with your flathead. And it's the exact same thing on the back side of the stock pedal. So this is where your flathead screwdriver would come in to pry open the back side and then remove this rubber piece and discard it. And then this piece will actually need to be wet with the soapy water and put over. And so I just started to remove the rubber lip from underneath. I actually haven't even used my uh, screwdriver yet. But I think you could actually just go slowly right around the edges and it will eventually pop out. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Let me just use my other hand and I will show you what it looks like. Okay, so it just gets loosened up here and then you can actually just work it around as you can see the uh, back rubber sorry about the lighting guys I'm trying to make this as visible as possible but just keep in mind that you there so the back looks like that for the stock pedal that's what's going to be exposed and I guess they want to wipe inside of here with some soapy water that way it may be able to go around here easier I'm not sure uh, up to this point, I haven't used a flathead screwdriver yet. Maybe that's just a suggestion. Okay, I'm getting there, guys. And so, initially, I started with the top um, lip and tried to work my way down. But that was a, a lot harder. So, actually, I started at the bottom. And now I have this side all in and this side all in. And now I'm just trying to pry on this side and then eventually snap the top in. So, when you do your install, from my opinion... It may be easier to start putting in the bottom first and then pry open this side. At least you'll have half of it done. 
So I just so happen to have this brand new set of what I call garage surgery tools lying around. So I am going to break away from using the flathead screwdriver and use one of these, probably this one, to get this top lip up because all three sides are now in place. It's just getting this top lip out and over the pedal and then we're done. All right, quick thing. I could just keep the video paused and then start recording again when it's all done and make it seem completely seamless, but let's keep things real. So it decided to come off as I was trying to peel open the top lip to finish this install. I had three sides on and I was just trying to get this part on and I decided to lift it up and move it a little and then all of the sides came down. So keep in mind, you're going to need an ounce of patience to accomplish this, but this is not going to win. I am going to win. This is my house. This is my car. So let's go back at it. There you have it. Um, I'm not going to lie. This was one of the tougher things to install was the brake pedal. And I was aware of that based on the reviews I read online, but I had to see for myself. Uh, once they're installed, they look good, but there's really no way to sugarcoat it. Uh, make sure you have a lot of patience. And, um, and a good night rest the night prior. <laughs> also, I would suggest installing the brake pedal first. I'm sorry, reverse that. I would suggest installing the gas pedal first. That way, when you start to run out of patience on the brake pedal, you're already committed. You can't stop once you have the gas pedal installed. So you're forced to finish. And you may start thinking like, maybe I don't need the brake pedal. I kind of like it with just the exposed metal. No, don't start second guessing yourself. I'm speaking from my own recent experience. You may start thinking, I should have just took this to the dealership. No, this is your battle. This is your journey. Install it. You'll feel so much better. And there we have it. Now that it's done, um, I can enjoy the rest of the day knowing that I was able to accomplish and win this little battle of mine. But there you have it. That's the Mopar gas and brake pedal covers installed. I hope this helped at least one person. Don't forget to comment, and if you haven't done so already, subscribe. This is Ryan from Riding in Style.